Hello there guys, welcome to my channel, and today we're back with some more of that Peach Boy Riverside episode 10. Alright guys, so last episode we finally got to see how, you know, pretty much basically backstory of Mikoto, right? So how he came to be and what was his story and all that. So it was pretty interesting, not gonna lie. So Mikoto is originally a ogre, right? So he was originally a ogre, but he's been given the power, like basically, you know, Hiko actually gave him the power. So like basically you can kind of see around the end, he pretty much giving, handing over the Peach Boy power. So it seems like you can do that. So basically Mikoto is wielding the first Peach Boy power. You get it? Because... I don't know what's going on with Sully, right? So that's still a mystery. We still don't know. I'm not sure when we're going to find out. Hopefully we do soon. Because she also got that Peach Boy type of power. Because she does have that Peach looking thing on her one eye. So which is why I could never really say that maybe she has the full power of Peach Boy. Because she has only in one side while Mikoto actually got it in both of his eyes. And it's clear that Mikoto is actually a human ogre. And... Uh, Peach Boy at this point, right? So, which is pretty crazy, you know what I'm saying? Not gonna lie. So, that is insane right there because he was pretty, his mom was uh, a human and his dad was a ogre, right? So, it's insane. And, like, you know, while the first Peach Boy, I mean, the Hiko was actually having a hard time dealing with the god, right? The Kijin, I believe that's what he's called, right? He was having a hard time. He was not really able to do anything at all. Like, the, that, that, that is how powerful the Kijin actually was. While the Mikoto, you know what I'm saying? My man was like, Nah, you ain't doing shit to me. Like he pretty much destroyed that Kijin like it was nothing. So which is which is insane. Not gonna lie. So now we're finally finding out how Mikoto is, what he is. So now it clearly seems that why ogres fear, you know, they actually fear him. Cause you, know, you, you do not. You, know, you do not want to mess with him, alright? But anyway, guys, overall the episode was great. Last episode finally finding out this story of, you know, Saint Mikoto, how the first Peach Boy and all that. So that was great. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen this episode. Hopefully, maybe we go back to the present. You know what I'm saying? Because we're getting attacked by the Thunder uh, Ogre, right? So, hopefully, we go there. But anyway, guys, not going to babble on too much. With that being said, let's go ahead and check this episode out. Let's go. Okay. So, all right. We're back with Wendy, guys. You know what I'm saying? Wendy, cool. She's a witch, right? Okay. You're trying to get... Okay, she knew. She knew. I mean, hey, he was going all right. I, I like Wendy. She, she, she got a pretty cool design. Honestly, what? Influence of his. That's Hotham? <laughs> Y'all see him? My man had a long hair before. Okay, buddy. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, that's why. That's why I forgot he was here. <laughs> I'm sorry. When he's taking the spotlight, my man. I'm sorry. Hey, Winnie. Oh, she, she cool. All right. Look into my crystal ball. Saw you fighting with the wooden sword. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So, Winnie just here to give him the sword, huh? Okay, I think I think we ain't got a thing for Hotham, by the way, y'all. Uh, I don't mind that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so you're trying to tell me Hotham's getting a power up right now. Scary sword. Even the, even the goddess is showing scary sword, huh? Yo, she know, huh? <laughs> it's the name of it's the treasure of heaven. Wait, what? What? Fra 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 That's Frau's sword? When he knows a lot. Okay, hey, hey, you know, you know when he cared about Hotham, all right? Hey, that's cool. No problem. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> so, okay, I mean, he got that lightning sword, too. I mean, actually, let's see, because apparently that sword belonged to freaking Farrow first time. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, Farrow about to GG you, man. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, man. You ain't, you ain't dis defeating Farrow. Are we going back? Get some more frows. Okay, wait, what is... I mean, I, re I really don't mind some of those glimpses, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can analyze it a lot. So, I'm assuming that was not Frau or maybe her people. Oh, shit, Frau back, y'all. First time when I saw Frau like that. <laughs> I was hella scared, y'all. Oh, God dang. Of course not, man. Frau is the most dangerous <laughs> out of everybody out here, I think. All right. Yo, just like that, man. Scary stuff, man. She can be. How can such a cute thing be so dangerous? It's unreal. I guess that's just how it is, right? 
Oh, that's right. Carrot is having her own fight too. God damn, man. We're, we're all actually in trouble. I don't think Carrot can defeat him. Because she's not as strong as she used to be. You know what I'm saying? And this man literally out here freaking gummo gummo no on Carrot, bro. Okay. Okay. Yo. <laughs> Carrot on that. It's my play right now. Yo. Let's go, but we don't need full power to destroy you, man. Cause this man's <laughs> this man's a gumbo gumbo no, all right. <laughs> hey guys, that's that's actually funny. That you know how many times you know Luffy be getting his head and hands stuck on the ground, so that's that's a disadvantage, all right. And it's influence everywhere, <laughs> even in this. Look at him. <laughs> that's funny. I don't know about that, Sully. You will definitely need to use your power to you know go past this dude. Unless he's gonna come up with some excuse and just let her go. Cause you know how freaking cunning he can I knew it. I, this, this dude we're talking about, alright. Testing. Yeah, right. Well everything's over at the other side. I mean I gotta lie, Sully is genuinely out there trying to change, so I don't know. Only thing that I can't really trust is this dude right here, Samuragi. I always feel like he's up to something. You know, I mean, I might just be overthinking it, but I'm I'm just saying how I feel, okay? Here we go, here we go, here we go. And uh, you you know he don't want to. God damn, bro. Yeah, that sword is dangerous. And Frau used to will that. I can't imagine. I can't imagine, like, you know, Frau on her, you know, the special power, what she does. She going around. Yeah, that would be crazy. Oh, he couldn't control his power. Wait, really? That's when Carrot approached him. Because everybody out there, you know, distancing with him. I have an order to work with. Okay. Okay, Toroki met. He met. Uh, Carrot has to come and stop him. Okay, this man. One more time. Okay, one more time here on the horizon. Uh, come on, Carrot. We gotta go, please. Toroki was the only one, uh, yeah, because it's like understandable when it comes to both of those guys, you know, Todoroki having his uncontrollable and him just looking a little bit different and even the ogre themselves. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, that sleeping girl. That's right. What's going on with Mikoto? Because Mikoto fell asleep with that little girl too, right? That little girl dangerous, bro. That little ogre, bro. Okay, Todoroki, we need to stop him, man. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Todorok is still thinking that Hothan is the peach boy. <sighs> I mean, when he out there helping Hothan, all right. So okay, he did cut. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he he got Todorok too. God damn it! Oh shit! I didn't want him to die for fuck's sake. Why did why did why didn't Carrot came in time, man? <laughs> I cheered him. <laughs> This this little goddess is dangerous, bro. I mean, she knows that. If, if she knew just by looking at the sword, too. Okay, Torox good. Torox good. That's good. And there you go. Right next to you, man. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, is Wayne gonna tag along? Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, that'd be good. She, I, I think she knows about Sully, to be honest. I don't know. It seems like Wayne knows a lot. He meant so he was going for a kill. My man was going for a kill, bro. That's true. <laughs> like, I mean, hey, I was saying it. I feel like that man was about to gun, about to die, and I knew it. It was literally it was a dead flag right there. Keep trying. Okay, when he telling us to go to a country, legit. The world that has outlawed. Wait, really? <laughs> Miko, this, this man be snapping, man. He's having some dream, eh, ain't he? I think he had a bad dream, that's why. But anyone who comes near... Okay, it's a he, guys. It's a he. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was he, I think. Nightmares. Oh, okay, so that was because of him. Because of him, okay. I'm assuming they actually picked him up. Because this man fell asleep. It's, it's cancelled. <laughs> she ain't winning nothing. <laughs> Teleportation jutsu <laughs> Yo, Wayne, too cool, bro Yeah, I mean, I would like to, 
you know, for you to tag along with us, to be honest. God damn, she'd be freaking stuck in us. <laughs> Legit, bro. Okay, we need to cool ya. I mean, you can follow us. I don't mind, man. Yeah. That's right, because we got caravan, you know what I'm saying? You, I'm pretty sure you'd like to tag along with her. This was good about Sally. You know what I'm saying? She's genuinely trying. She's she's out there. Despite she know what they've done. She's still out there. You know what I'm saying? Which is good. Yo, let's go. <laughs> Yo, put out out there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that was pretty cool too. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie about that. There's something. There you go. You got one there next to you. Come on, Toad Rook. <laughs> Come on, man. You know you want to join us. Alright, man. Don't double think. <laughs> you know, like, you already know. He's <laughs> putting on that smile. Okay, he's not gonna take <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> okay, Toad Rook. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta be like that, man. Okay. All right, buddy. What is he? Is he one of those? Okay, he's one of those. He's Tunjer, eh? Trust him more than. Ooh, <laughs> he knows, all right. <laughs> That's right. I mean, there is a peach boy, a peach girl, is what I like to say, but. Mm hmm. And he's killing Todoroki too. You see, this is why I say I never trust this bastard, alright? I knew it. I never trust this fool. I send you to join him too. All I need to find out is what is he trying to do? I mean, just when I was like, Todoroki is okay, and now this, bruh. God damn it. What? Billy my Nexus. Okay. Is this more. This buck is literally following us, ain't he? It's like he knows where we're going. As planned. What about him? Didn't you just see your boy, you know, like, that you need to ta use to tag along getting killed? But I guess he can't do anything because Sumeragi, that flip head, is actually pretty strong. Alright guys, quite episode, so we finally came back to where we were actually having a fight, right? So, you know what I'm saying, Hoton going against Todoroki and all that. So, when he came in nick of time, alright, you know what I'm saying? Because I thought maybe when he was going to fight for Hoton, but no, when he actually came to give him a sword, which belonged to Farao. So, that's crazy right there. So, Farao used to wield some pretty insane sword right there. So, she was saying it could cut through anything. So it's not a, you know, small type of sword that, like, you know, even even the goddess, like the other uh, ogre goddess, you know what I'm saying, that little goddess, was saying that sword is dangerous. So that sword is not to be taken lightly. So my boy Hotham basically got a pretty good power-up because, you know, with the way how it was going, everybody could do something, but Hotham was the normal type of dude, you know what I'm saying, normal human dude. So with that sword, he can do something because we know he was already a knight, right? So... Yeah, that's that, that's good, cause like otherwise, Farao is out there, some pretty crazy monster. You know what I'm saying? Cause she can pretty much probably take on anybody. And Sully, she's in her own league. She she can be crazy. We all know that. And even you know, Saint Carrot, she can do something too. So yeah, I mean, finally, Hotham getting a little bit of that power up is great. And Wendy seems to be, you know, like she seems to know a lot, cause like she was like, wait, how does she know about Farao? And she knew that sword belonged to Frau. How does she have it? It, it, it? It's crazy. crazy. But I guess she, at the end of the day, she's a witch, right? So, like, it's crazy. How much, I think she knows about everything, to be honest. I'm pretty sure she probably knows about the, you know, Sully's power. Like, how it came to be and all that. So, yeah, Winnie when, when, when is pretty important, I would like to say. So, I'm pretty sure she might actually tell us. Or, like, we'll probably find out on our own way the how Sully got her power up right so yeah that was that so Hawthorne pretty much taking care of Todoroki not a problem at all so which is good that Todoroki didn't really, I mean Hawthorne didn't really try to kill Todoroki right so because he was saying he actually wanted to you know what I'm saying he he was actually going for it I think so he just couldn't I think that's what he said but yeah so I mean Todoroki cool at least Todoroki managed to see you know what I'm saying that's that's all I'm that actually grateful for because even on the end I was like okay hopefully he doesn't die but I guess guess what he he he, he died Samuragi this 
I, I have never really trusted that dude. I don't know you guys, you know, how long, if you guys been looking at my other's reaction, I've never really trusted that dude from the beginning since I saw his face. Because that's just the vibe he gives me. I always find him fishy. And look at this, like, it's, a, it's as if it's going through his plan. Even, I mean, even Wayne said that you guys will be on the way to this another place. Right? So you get the way how you guys are going, you'll be headed to this place. So Wayne pretty much said that you your next destination is going to be here and samurai get this mofo seems to like know that we're literally heading there and he was literally going on about saying that oh it's it's crazy how well the plan is going so it's going according to their plan so yeah i don't know it, it, it's crazy it's crazy i it's just sad that you know he did he killed todoroki just like that i mean i don't know man what can i say hey, it is what it is I'm just gonna wait for the next episode and all that but this is a pretty good episode not gonna lie mickey versus that dude farao i ain't worried about farao she op all right so we found a little bit of, we also kind of uh, saw a little bit of that glimpse of like i don't know if that was farao or one of her kind killing somebody you know what I'm saying? So that was that was that was something there. But anyway, guys, overall the episode was actually great. Wayne Audi, I ain't gonna lie, I already like her. I really did wanted her to join our group. But I guess she is, cause she's down there. She's out there literally <laughs> stalking us. She's like literally looking at what we're doing. So I guess in a way she is, right? Cause she can pretty much teleport whenever she wants. So y'all know what I'm saying, right? But anyway. It was a great episode. That being said, guys, hope you guys did like this small reaction. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.